today's recipe we have uh, cremini mushroom or baby portobello mushroom um, tomato sauce we're going to use a little bit of this red crust uh, pepper we got rapini it is also known as broccoli rub we are going to use some of this extra virgin olive oil salt and pepper naturally and we're going to have linguine as our pasta and right in this bowl here I have some bacon which I'm going to render the fat and use some of it to saute all these ingredients which are also garlic and some onions okay so what I'm doing here is putting my uh, broccoli rub together because I'd like to cut out uh, the stem part of it and blanch it first before I go ahead and put this part, the leafy part of the broccoli rub because this tends to be a little tougher so I want to blanch it a little longer that's the reason why I'm gonna put it first in, in my back burner I have boiling water and the reason why I'm blanching my broccoli rub is because it's got some slight bitterness to it. And I'm going to add the stem of the broccoli rub and allow this to blanch before I add the rest of the leafy part of the broccoli rub. And I guess I mentioned that the reason why I like to blanch the broccoli rub first is because just to minimize some of the bitterness in it okay so fat is rendered and although I love the uh, smokiness of the bacon I really don't want to use all of that fat so we're gonna take most of it out right there and we got a good tablespoon of fat left in there and what I'm going to do put that aside is replace that those fat that I've taken out of it with some olive oil and then we'll go ahead and start adding the ingredients I'm starting with the garlic Let's put that on low and I'm going to add a little bit of a uh, crushed red red pepper flake give a little bit of spiciness and let's saute the ingredients. Let me bring you closer so you could see inside the pot and just you could actually see what's going on. Okay, I guess it's close enough. Okay, now we are going to add the onion. We're going to allow the onion to get a little translucent before we add the mushroom okay so as you can see the onion is nice and translucent we are now going to add the creamy mushroom have to continually adjust my heat because I love cooking on high heat but uh, I guess when you're doing video and your uh, attention is divided one is uh, trying to improvise or what to say and the other is paying attention to what's happening in the pot you have to be a little careful with the heat so 
I con continually have to adjust my heat. So we're going to allow the uh, mushroom to cook. We're going to season it a little bit. About half a teaspoon of salt. A little bit of pepper. Put the lid on this so that we could uh, continue to cook. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add some of the tomato sauce. I'm gonna put my heat on high again. Because each time you add an ingredient, it kind of lower the temperature. And at this point, I would like some of my tomato sauce to kind of caramelize a little bit. To kind of intensify the flavor. And so I'm going to allow my tomato sauce to cook on high. Okay. So you know when the tomato sauce has uh, caramelized because when you stir it, you could actually see the fat separating from the tomato sauce. Okay? Now I do that because I want the flavor to uh, the flavor of the tomato to intensify a little bit. I want the caram caramelization to take place, and then as you can see, it's nice and thick. I'll go ahead and add the rest of my tomato sauce to my water is uh, boiling briskly and I already added the uh, salt in there ahead of time and I'm going to have to add my linguine and meanwhile our sauce is looking really nice we're going to allow this to simmer a little more and then I'll go ahead and add the broccoli rub or the rapini. Okay, so let's see. Our sauce is looking good. Let's taste this for seasoning. Oh, mm. so good. Now let's add our broccoli rub. Just the right amount of spiciness from the red pepper flakes and the acidity of the tomato sauce really cut through the richness of uh, the bacon and olive oil so to me the flavor is really balanced we'll give this about another couple of minutes okay Now we are ready to add the pasta in. The pasta is uh, al dente, but as you can see, we got lots of sauce and it's gonna continue cooking 